This show, just like all the other StarCast shows, are available at adfreeshows.com. During your reign, and uh, you mentioned Yokozuna because... uh... A lot of people didn't realize how much he could do in the ring, and also the way you helped uh, promote him. So, uh, the matches that you, know, you, you were able to do a, the sharpshooter with him, and you had some great matches with Yoko. Yoko, I, you know, I never met a Samoan wrestler that wasn't a phenomenal athlete. I mean, they could run, jump, swim, you know, do everything. They were just so athletic, and uh, Yoko may have been a big guy. When, I, when he was, at that time, I think he was only about 500 pounds, um, which, you know, he could still move really good. He could move like a cat out there, and he'd be surprised at how quick and nimble uh, Rodney was. He, was. he was a really good athlete, and, you know, I, I remember him, he had a beautiful voice. He'd sing in the shower and stuff like that. He, he'd be surprised. Bet you didn't know that, that right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, 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 I always kind of catered. When you're wrestling a guy that's five, six hundred pounds, um, it's easy to wear them down by just uh, dogging it out there, like when he picks you up off the mat, if you, if you make yourself heavy, you know, you go up for a body, he goes the body slam in, you kind of go dead weight on him. You know, they can throw you around, and they're strong enough to throw you around, but they only got a marginal amount of gas in the fuel, or fuel in the tank, you know, so they, they get tired fast, and you got, he's got to re- sort of recharge for a few seconds by lying on the mat or so I always cater to to Yoko by I did all the running I let him sort of stand in the middle and I'd run into him and stuff like that but I made it so and I think he always appreciated that when I worked with him that I allowed him to store his energy till the ending of the match where because it was the kind of thing if you want to if you got a 600 pound guy that, that's really tired and then he falls on you <laughs> it could be your last match. So. <laughs> and you never hurt anybody, and thank God that uh, nothing major happened with Yoko. No, I was lucky that way, but I do remember he would, he would do that uh, leg drop. Yeah, I think people know who Bret Hart is. I don't think you need that. They would do, <laughs> he would do his leg drop on me, and he had those red uh, um, nylon kind of tights that he yeah. had. Yeah. And he would, he would leave his whole imprint of his tights would be on my face. <laughs> and then maybe the next night he'd do it from a different angle. And then another angle. And then I'd start to have like skin like a lizard. You know, I really did. Uh, and I used to marvel at it because, you know, he was really safe. I don't remember Rodney ever hurt me. But I, I do know that, um, you know, I, every time I worked with him, when he, especially when he was following me on me, I usually took a good deep breath and kind of closed my eyes. I, um, I enjoyed most of the matches I had with Yoko, and um, we had a good chemistry together, and I think he, he liked the way we worked, and so did I. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.